with Jeremy, his wife, Anna, older brother, Garrett, and now Grant making their home here in Ohio. We're on to 250 qualifying highlights from heat number one. And guess who? Buddy Antonez and his teammate, Jeff Gibson, again. Another great start, takes that outside line. Now he knows to close the door. He does so this time. Remember that 125, he was leaving that door open a little too much. And Gibson putting a little bit of a move there on Chad Johnson in third spot. Buddy Antonez out in front, then Gibson, then Johnson. And everybody's hop, skipping, and jumping except Denny Stevenson. Oh, man, close call for Debo there. Remember the top four transfer into the final. Gibson, a great pass. Now he's in front of Antonez. It looks like a replay of that 125 race we saw. Uh, Denny Stevenson left the arena there. He's over on the other side of the hay bales while Jeff Gibson is out in front with Buddy Antonez. And no, this is not a replay. This is. Watch on the far right. Denny Stevenson, number two, cases it. Oh. Woo. Get that Yahoo effect. We've seen it several times. Again, look at the left side, the green Kawasaki, rider number two, Denny Stevenson. He flatlined a little bit right there. Just didn't give him the, the suspension he needed. Pops his feet off the pegs and, uh-oh, it's ugly. And here he's a pedestrian with a motorcycle, taking it for a walk. <laughs> then you're supposed to push your bike up to the line before the race, not during the race. Meanwhile, Jeff Gibson making it look good here on the big bike, the same way he did on the 125, winning heat number one the way he won the main. Antonez second, Johnson third, and Greg Rand rounding out the qualifiers from the first heat. You can see Greg Rand transferred. I forgot, you know, old, old Bueller says, hey, I'm the number one guy from Ohio, and this guy's saying, who's an Antonez? Yeah, there's nothing older than yesterday's hero, right? 98 <laughs> wins and already he's forgotten. Heat number two, and the action continues. Of course, Tom Kelly, we saw a lot of him, along with Tommy Hoffmaster. There's Kelly, but no Hoffmaster, and here's number nine, Josh Demon. The sheriff taking those inside lines. Now, you can do that on the 250. You can still do that triple section, but he, he's being a little conservative right now, probably with two riders in front of him. He didn't want to triple out of that section. Demon's the man on the move here on the number nine, Kawasaki. Look there at, uh, at Lang on the 83 bike. That is way by Mike Mason, the, the freestyle expert out there. He's trying to come inside the top four. Now, that's... That's the cuss, you know, Mason's not gonna be that number one qualifier, but he's saying, just get me into that final and I'll do all right. Qualifiers from heat number two included Demon, Lang, and Mason with winner Jeff Willow. You've really had to ride extremely hard tonight to make the main in the 250, not a good start. How's the arm feeling? Actually, if you wanna know, it hurts really bad. Um, I've been just taking some Advil and uh, trying to get the best, you know, trying to do the best I can. I didn't wait long enough to let it heal and you know, I'm just out here trying to put my Kawasaki Team Green Thor Pro Trigger bike up front. Uh, how does it affect you mechanically on the bike? I'm having a hard time starting. Uh, I'm really, my hand's kind of numb a little bit, and it's hard to feel the clutch, so I'm getting terrible starts. But hopefully, I don't know, I can just get my head together and come out there and, and pull some starts into mains and win this, baby. Good luck tonight. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. On to heat number three, highlights of the 250. These guys trying to get in as the ones before them already have. Watching the six of Pedro Gonzalez takes Brad Axon, the leader, for a ride. Pedro Gonzalez taking the inside line that time, doing a great job. Again, the shortest distance to that, you know, inside is by going even farther inside. And uh, he showed the quick way around. So now Gonzalez on his Kawasaki is the leader. And moving quickly into second spot there, we have a new number two in Rusty Holland. Rusty really starting to come into his own. He, he, I'm sure he likes that 250 a little bit better. He, it's a little easier to work with some of the obstacles. Here's Hoffmaster trying to work, work his way into the top four and does so. Axis being passed first by one, then two, and now three. Here's the first one. Pedro Gonzalez going by Axis with loops. In perfect form. He has that pro circuit Kawasaki just dialed in. Axis picks up his foot. He goes, don't run over me, Pedro. <laughs> and then Rusty Holland got by on the inside of the next turn. Collins now in second spot, stalking Gonzalez in this heat number three. Looking at highlights from earlier, leading up to our main event. And going past right there was Rusty Holland. Just grabbed a handful of that whoop section. He was on the inside, takes a little peek over, says, you want some of me, old man? Rusty Holland picks up the win over Gonzalez, Hoffmaster, and Hagsett holds on to four. That was kind of a hairball pass through the whoop. Yeah, me and Pedro going into it, and... Uh... Out here, every starting position is going to make a difference on the inside, so I gave it everything I had, and luckily I came out top at the end of the whoops. 
Robbie, only two went through from the semi and one more from the last chance qualifier. Here's the beginning of the semi event, and out in front, it's our friend number 606, Tom Kelly. He gives some good starts, hadn't he? I mean, he might be a, a rookie into the arena cross series. But, you know, one of the big things is you get out in front and you hold everybody off, it seems. He's still looking to try to make it into the final directly, not having to look for no option or anything. Like he did 125, and it was not pretty, Brian. No, Tom Kelly with the header. Took himself out of the lead and went going by were Brian Piccarelli and the local favorite, Kevin Beloy, number 145. And Denny Stevenson was out in front for a while. Debo looking good, everything's smooth, keeping everybody behind him. Doubles. Says, yeah, I'm riding nice, smooth. Oh, oh what, 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 what happened? <laughs> Just stalled it out in the turn, and that let Piccarelli and Beloy go past, and the Columbus, Ohio fans are all excited. Number 145, Beloy is from right here in town. Moving a little bit further ahead in the event in the closing laps, it is Piccarelli out in front, and Kevin Beloy in the whoops makes a mistake and just leans it over. Oh, man, has a new bike stand, part of the hockey arena, and Abel's Brian Edwards to move up into that number two spot. Good job for the Anke Heat and Air Kawasaki. Those were your two qualifiers from the semi, and then out in front, virtually from the beginning in the last chance qualifier, Denny Stevenson had to get into the main, and he had to win to do it. Denny, I think, just hung it up in that semi. He says, man, I don't know what I was doing. I, I couldn't even tell what he was doing there. But he says, I've got that LCQ. I'll just ride nice and smooth and qualify. So now the field is set for the 250 main, and that's coming up.